welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Las Vegas Urban League WIC Culture Club podcast. Live streaming again with you guys today. Thank you for joining in. Um, thank you for joining our podcast. We're so excited to have you guys tune in. My name is LaWanda Torres. I'm the clinic coordinator here at the West Flamingo and Torrey Pines location. Uh, right next to me, shining bright, we have... I'm Shannon Johnson. I'm the coordinator for Las Vegas Urban League East location on Flamingo and Pecos. And if you could so kindly subscribe to our podcast, hit those likes buttons, smash up the like buttons. We would appreciate it so much. And this is so we can keep connected with you guys and keep you updated on things that are going on with the Las Vegas Urban League WIC program. Yes. So let's get right into it, guys. So yeah. today's podcast, we have a full program today, okay? You guys ready? So I hope you guys are excited. We have a lot of new information that's coming your way. Um, we have some updates with the farmer's market. Uh, we also have a program called the Affordable Connectivity Program for low-income households. And we also have a special guest for you guys today that's going to speak to you all about how to become your own small business owner and entrepreneur. Ms. Cherie Johnson, president and CEO of Sensible Things. And Cherie was also a former WIC mom. Yeah. So is here. she'll be here to share her story on how WIC set her up for success in her life. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, to begin, um, you know, we would like to start off with, I would like to take this opportunity. Um, we have this, this terrible tragedy that happened yesterday. I would just like to take this opportunity to say, hug your kids, you know, hug your little ones, a friend kids, your kids, neighbor kids, it just, just give them that extra special love today. And, you know, throughout uh, as much as you can, you know, our babies, they're having it hard, you know, with the formula shortage and, and, and the tragedy that happened yesterday. So I just want to use this uh, platform that we have, you know, just to say, you know, just give them that extra little confidence that they need, you know, because, you know, they go through a lot, especially with, you know, what happened yesterday. So they're scared and they're not sure. And they, they just need just that extra, you know, love and support from from everyone. So just wanted to, you know, say that. So yeah. uh, on another note, we're going to begin. Uh, we're going to start out the day with some um, news about the farmer's market. OK, great news. Um, the farmer's market uh, we had back, uh, I want to say like a year or two ago. So mm -hmm. it has so been so brought back to yeah. WIC. So it's it's great. Um, you can use vouchers, coupons, uh, I guess they're called vouchers or coupons for uh, at your local farmer's market. Um, all of our WIC families, you can always call in. There, there is an 800 number, but you can always call into the office to get information. However, uh, there's an 866-894-2328 number that you can call or go on to the nevadawick.org website. Mm -hmm. That'll give you all, of the, all the information you need. There's a really easy form that you can fill out um, at, in order to, to receive your vouchers for the, the farmer's market. So it's a great program. Um, it's, it's actually right on time to jumpstart the summer. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get your fruits and veggies. I want to say it's $25 voucher per, per participant. Per participant. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just great. You know, the high rising cost of groceries and, yes. you know, just the, the inflation that's going on right now. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's great to have that, you know, that extra help, you know, through WIC. So definitely go on to nevadawick.org, fill out the form so you can get your vouchers and your coupons uh, sent to you. Or you can call the 1-866-894-2328 number for more information, or you can call us either way. So um, yeah, go out, go to your local farmer's market, get your fruits and your vegetables. And the farmer's market have other items there as well. But, you know, you could go and get your your fruits and vegetables and then, you know, just kind of 
look around and see what other great things that they might have there. As we like to say, from the farm to the table, right? From the farm, farm to, to the, the table. table. I mean, that's the best way. Yes, so, yes. Uh, so we have more great news. Shannon was saying earlier, uh, we have another program that we would like to talk to you about, Shannon. Yeah, very good program. So um, as Wanda was mentioning, um, farmer's market in the summertime. So and also talking about the children. So school is officially starting to be out. A lot of kids last day is today. So with that being said, they're going to be at home on their devices. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to be using Wi-Fi. So we have a program called the um, Affordable Connectivity Program, ACP. Um, is offering discounts to Wi-Fi as well as tablets and laptops. Yes. Um, ACP is a U.S. government program that helps low-income families receive low-cost plan ser service plans. Sorry. Um, those that are receiving WIC, if you're receiving SNAP, Medicaid, um, Social Security, and you're more than likely to qualify for this program. Yeah. And basically what you would need to do is visit the website, um, and that's going to be www.affordableconnectivity.org, and you can apply online. Mm -hmm. Again, if you need more information, you can always reach out to your local WIC office, and we can get that information over to you. Um, it's a very uh, simple form to fill out. It's just going to ask some information about your household size, um, your address, and, simple, yeah. and pretty simple to fill out. Um, but if you guys have any other questions, we'll have all those links at the end of the show here and also available on our social media sites. Yes. Yep. Two great programs, right? So today we are delighted to introduce Ms. Cherie Johnson. She is our she is a president and CEO of her company called Sensible Things. Um, please welcome Cherie Johnson to the show. Hey, Cherie. Hi, everyone. So Thank happy. you. I really appreciate it. I'm welcome. happy to be here. Happy to be oh, here. Oh, we're you. so happy to have you here. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here on our show and our podcast. Um, just to bring everyone up to date, on our last podcast, we featured Mr. Dino Brown, and he's our director of our entrepreneurship program here with Las Vegas Urban League. And he spoke to our families in creative ways on how to start their own businesses. So today we're kind of putting those two pieces together and we have someone who's actually just done that. Yeah. Cherie will speak to us on how the WIC program and her experience allowed her to successfully start and maintain her business. So Cherie, we would like to ask you a few questions about your journey from WIC to a successful business owner. Absolutely. Yes. yes, yes. Absolutely. yes. So let's get right on in to asking you these questions. <laughs> So we just got a few for you, Cherie. The first okay. one, um, how did you obtain the start of your business? You know, as a young woman, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, well, being a young mother, you know, it turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to find a balance, a balance um, to being a mom, being a single mom, and then being able to achieve the goals of being an entrepreneur. Um, one of the things that was really important and the way that um, I handled it is I had two things. One, a journal, and then two, a vision board. Now, the vision board wasn't something extravagant. It was just something to remind me of what was important to me and why I was working so hard. Exactly. You know, if you write down your goals and it's just a reminder, you, you will never forget what it is that you're working for, especially when you're a single mom. You really have to have balance. You really have to be able to prioritize. And that's what I did. That's great. That's great. And as a single mother, how did you balance the motherhood, starting your business? I mean, it, it's how did you actually balance that? You know, it wasn't easy. Um, one of the things that I had to do, like, for instance, it was never a time, you, you know, when you're a single mom, you're always a mom. You can't check in. You can't check out. Um, I would sometimes I would be preparing meals. And after the meal or while the meals, are, you know, are cooking, I would be on the computer. I would be uh, writing down, you know, things on how I want to get started. Um, but one of the things was uh, definitely using my resources. Um, being a single mother, uh, you know, you got a lot on your plate. You, you're worrying about how you're going to feed the kids, how you're going to get the kids to school. You have what I did was I used my resources, and WIC was one of the resources that I used. Um, it gave me um, uh, a peace of mind. It um, was a positive, a very positive resource. And when I say that, most people think 
hospital, if, if you're getting assistance, isn't it always positive? It's not. Um, and I'll explain that. Um, one thing, uh, when you're needing assistance or you're going into different programs and, and trying to get assistance, um, sometimes you're, you're made to feel less than. Um, sometimes it's not as respectful. The experience isn't as respectful as you would like it to be. Um, you, you, you never remember everything, but you always remember how people make you feel. Yes. I remember going into a wig office and every single person that I encountered made me feel that I was important and that they were willing to help. And that was important because it makes you feel comfortable. It makes you uh, want to ask questions. Um, being a young mom, I didn't know anything about nutrition. Right. So I wasn't just getting help. I was getting educated. There right. you go. And that's very important, especially for young mothers. We're just worried about how to a meal to feed your kids. Exactly. We're not worried about what's the good things that they need to eat, you know, the healthier, you know, way. You know, WIC was great. That was one that was really, really uh, helpful for me. Nice. I, that was great, great news to know. And she's picked up on something where she said WIC played a role in, you know, her being a single mother. And we appreciate that because that's something that we strive on here at Urban League for yes, sure. Yes, making you feel respected yes. and valued. Yes. That's key. So right. speaking from experience, for that's exactly yes. how I felt. Nice. Uh, and that's what we want. So <laughs> just to um, ask a few questions here, what do you enjoy most about being a business owner? Being able to help people um, through the products that I make. Um, you know, I am a, um, I've had cancer three times. I'm a diabetic. I have lupus. So it was important to me to put a product out there where people didn't have to worry about what they were putting on their skin, where they can just enjoy the product itself. Nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. So what advice would you give them, um, an aspiring WIC mother who is interested in starting her own business? First and foremost, put God first, because without God, it, it's not going to happen. Mm. It's not going to happen. Um, make sure you don't give up. We all have a story. We all go through things, but the key word is through. It doesn't mean you stay. It doesn't mean you vacation. You go through things. That means there's there's light at the end of that tunnel, not a flashlight. There's a light. Do not give up on your dreams. It is possible. Hard work, dedication, um, prepare your mind, prepare your mind for, you know, the long hours, um, some of the rejection, because everybody's not going to be supportive of what you're trying to do. Yes. Um, make sure that no matter what you, 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 you focus, you stay focused. And like I said, just really put God first. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Great advice. What are the three most important habits um, <laughs> that you can give us uh, to be a successful entrepreneur? Time. Be on time. <laughs> be on time for bed. It's true because you need proper rest. Be on time mm -hmm. when other people are involved. Um, just, just a respect for people's time. Time management is important. That's one. Nice. And then two, money management. Mm -hmm. Take some classes. If you have it, take some. Learn how to save. Learn how to invest. Um, credit. Credit is really important. Um and, and the third, um, I would say your environment. Now, I don't know if uh, most people would agree, but you need to surround yourself with people who vibe with your character, who yes. have the same goals as you do, who right. are motivated, right. who, are, who are just passionate about starting their own business as you are. People that you feel comfortable with, with the advice they can give you. Networking. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So you was you were, you were talking about time. So that goes into our next question. What is a typical day as a business owner? What what does that look like to you or for you? Um, some long hours and hard work. But but if you love what you're doing, hard work becomes easy work. Mm -hmm. Long days become short days. Um, you it, it, you just have to be prepared. You just have to um, know, be passionate about what you're doing, um, work hard, understand that business owners, um, successful, successful business owners, they don't work on a nine to five. They don't get to sleep in quite often. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We all want to be business owners, so I better listen it's up. It's hard work. It's hard work. It it's not easy. Work. So, Cherie, how do you stay on top of the industry trends with your products? 
So what I do, I, I, I do a lot of research. I am always uh, in different um, outlets, shopping, seeing what, you know, they're doing. I'm always on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm okay. always uh, looking to see what's, you know, who's making what, how they're making it. And then, of course, I do my my own um, research and change some things because, like I said, all my products are, are all natural. Um, so I, I just I kind of stay up on it that way. OK, nice. So what was the first step you did in 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 getting your business started? Honestly, the very, very first thing I did besides praying <laughs> is um. I took some time to really get my mind together because okay. sometimes we jump into things and we're so excited about things that we don't really look at the bigger picture mm -hmm. on, on what's, what, it, what it will take to get your business started. You mm -hmm. have to know what you're getting yourself into, accept what you're getting yourself into, and then decide if that's what you want to do. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now, is there any additional information that you would like to share with our WIC moms and our families regarding the, the road to becoming a successful entrepreneur? One, use your resources. Okay. Use your resources. And I'm not just talking about resources as far as business, but I'm also talking about the business, it's your resources as far as being a single mom. Because if the, the less stress that you have, the more you can focus actually on your business. Right, right. That's valuable. And then realize that sometimes, like I said, we all go through a lot. Understand that sometimes when you feel like you're being buried, you're being planted. And there is a difference. There, there is, is a difference. difference. All right. I like that. I love that. I don't have to use that. <laughs> you're not being buried. You're being you're planted. planted. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. You have that space to grow. Man, that's some great information. Valuable, valuable yeah, very information. Very valuable. And Thank relatable, you. too. That's yes. what I really, Absolutely. really like about it. You know, coming Absolutely. from being a wig mother yourself and yes. starting your own business, mm -hmm. successful business, and just staying true to who you are. And like you said, putting God first. So some great information, Ms. Cherie. I appreciate you being on the show with us today. My Such pleasure. Nice. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Her information along with the other information and the links and the telephone numbers that we shared with you guys today will be at the end. So make sure you get all that down and visit these websites and these links and visit Cherie's page and make sure you go to the Nevada WIC dot org page and you know get your your information in so you can you know get your farmers market coupons and you can get out there and get some fresh fruits and vegetables for right. your family because right. you guys deserve the best so yeah, don't absolutely. forget hug your babies today hug your friends and family kids and just just everybody try to be good to each other god we we, we need we need unity, you know, we need. Absolutely. We need it. It's the culture club. It's something that we need. And it's just, Sorry. it's, it's, it's hard times right now. As, as Wanda was yes. saying, we're dealing, we're dealing with formula shortages. So mothers are having issues feeding their kids. And now, you know, we trust that we can take our kids to school and they'd be safe. And we're realizing that that's becoming an issue. So yeah. just hug on your family extra hard today. Yes. And just yes. whether that be your kids, your niece, yeah. your nephew, your neighbors, just hug on them a little extra hard today. Cause the culture club, we definitely understand that times are hard right now. Absolutely. And this podcast is what we try to bring some love and light into the community. Yes. Yes. And that's what we hope that we were able to do today for you all. Absolutely. Thank you, Cherie. You brought me help to bring that. Yes, Thank you, you did. You're welcome. Thank You're you. welcome. Well, I guess that's all the time we have. I mean, we could sit here and we could talk for hours. I wish we could. <laughs> um, but don't forget, before you log off, to make sure you get all the information you need. Um, you know, smash those buttons, hit the like button, uh, subscribe so you could just keep up with all the latest and greatest from the Las Vegas Urban League. We're here for you guys. Don't forget, be kind, be well, be, be safe. safe. Thank you.
Thank you.